Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 Animations Before adding animations to a PowerPoint presentation, it's a good idea to watch a slideshow. Select the View tab and select Reading View. You can use the left mouse button or the scroll button on the mouse to move backwards and forwards through the presentation. Use this to get an idea of what should be animated, for example whether these two images should move in any way, fade in, fade out, or perhaps fly in from the side of the screen. On this slide perhaps the text could come in from the side or above. Once you've seen the presentation, select the Animations tab and click on the Animation Pane button. Select an object. This shows us that at present there is no animation. We can either select an option here, or we can click on Add Effect, Add an Animation Effect, to see all the different options. Let's just use these buttons for the moment. We're going to choose the Fade option, but if we look at the way that it works, it's much too fast. Select the drop-down arrow at the side and change the timing. We're going to make it happen very slowly. Click on OK and then watch the effect. That seems a bit better. Select the next image. We're going to add an animation for that as well. We'll choose Float In. You can preview the animations by hovering over them. Change the timing for the picture. We'll make the speed for this one medium speed. Now we're going to need to click the mouse to make both pictures appear, but it would be a good idea to make them appear once the slide is open. Select the top animation and select Start After Previous. Select the bottom animation, that's for this image and select Start After Previous. Now we're going to click on Play to see what happens. Select the next slide. Select the placeholder that holds all the text. For this we're going to let it fly in. Select Fly In, and then to change the direction from which it flies in, select, select Effect Options. It can fly in from the right. We're going to change the speed for that. And we'll make that slow. When the slide opens, we'll have to click the mouse to make it happen. We'll leave that this way. Select the last slide. Select the placeholder containing the two paragraphs. Add an animation. We'll try something different. It's not a good idea to have too large a variety of animations. It's a better idea to choose the same animation. There are special effects, but let's just choose Fly In. We're going to make that happen the same way that the previous slide uses. From the right, and we're going to set the timing. Too slow.
For this slide, we've used the mouse clicker. For this slide, we're going to make it happen after the previous. Now we're ready to watch the slide show again. Click on View, Reading View. We have to click to move to the next slide. And we have to click to make the two sentences fly in. Click to see the next slide. Here it, we set it to start after previous, so they simply slide in as they're ready. Let's make a few adjustments. Instead of starting after previous for this one, we'll start with previous, so they happen at the same time. On this slide, we'll change the animation to start after previous. Let's see the slideshow again. First click on the first slide and change to reading view. Click to end the slideshow. Remember not to add too many animations to a presentation.